Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 in our modded series here in the Midwest region of the United States. We are back over here at our Grand Train Station and we did some little more like designer things in the last episode. I hope you enjoyed the two episodes in one week by the way. I didn't know what else to record so I just decided to record more Transport Fever. So over here we, this is one of the things that we left off with. Obviously did not change the dangerous sitting on the track and waiting type thing but what are you gonna do? I did already spot out an issue. We have issues everywhere. It's just how it goes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update the train line to Huntsville and Irving because there's constantly over 100 people waiting at each station, which is not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that right now, I think. What year is it? It's 1929. We may be able to wait for a high-speed train. How old is this train? Only six-year-old train. So we do need to go ahead and fix up that train at some point. I'm gonna wait on it because I wanna get a project done. I've been doing a lot of management type things and I know like, although that's part of the game, we wanna see new projects. So let's go ahead and try to figure out a new project for this episode. Ooh, so this is some good news. I was kinda of looking around to see what we could do and it looks like our airports are actually busy enough. So Lexington Air is making us enough money, constantly transporting people back and forth. The only thing is, is that our bus lines may not be making as much money. If we look right here, Lexington Teal line, uh, it's making us some money. It's not making us enough money, but it's better than nothing, right? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna purchase like two new airplanes, I think, just to get it going a little bit more. Actually, we can purchase one of the new ones. Let's just purchase one of the new ones for now. Add that on there. That's a little bit more management based. I need to find something to do. Hi everyone, I am sorry for cutting off the video just short, but I do want to announce something. So if you want to enter a chance to win $100 in US currency for a Steam gift card, I have good news for you, you can. And by doing that, I ask that you do subscribe to this channel, but be sure to go down into the description below. Join our Discord channel, and then once you join our Discord channel, you will have to go through verification processes to ensure that you are a user. Once you get through that process, please go over to the hashtag giveaway section and then follow the rules from there. If you are watching this after May 1st or May 2nd, there may no longer be a giveaway for this specific thing, but we will hold additional giveaways. But other than that, I hope to see you guys there and let's get back to the video. I just figured something out. I don't care how complicated it is, we're gonna do it because we've been sitting here for too damn long. Over here in Charlotte, we don't get any sort of cargo, which is unfortunate because it's a nice little city it's very kind of far away from everything, which is all right. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a train line connected to you. And what we're gonna do is you can accept construction material. So we can bring in a some sort of cargo route right through here over this gigantic canyon. Oh God, I didn't realize how different that was from here to there. So what we can do is we can go ahead, attach it from here to over there. This is gonna be complicated because the land is so different but we're gonna go ahead and do it because we need to figure out a project all right i'm gonna go off camera i don't know how this is gonna work but we'll figure it out and i'll explain my thinking after see you guys here in a second All right, so welcome back. That was a pain to do, and I kind of regret doing the project, but at the same time, I don't. So, what did we do? So first off, we had our stone coming from over here. We're gonna have a small train line to go back and forth. Very simplistic, nothing too big. But then we have our construction plant over here, and we come straight through here, down this awesome mountain. We had to come all the way down here by this river area, just because that's the simplest area to put it by without like, spending like 50 million dollars and then we bring the train line all the way from over here down through here i don't know why it dips down so much but it does so yeah very strange but then it goes straight through here and then it comes all the way up this hill right here it actually doesn't seem that bad but it took a minute i was thinking like over here because like when i was looking from over here i'm like oh that's not that high up it will just go back and forth no it is really high up if it if I were to build a bridge, it would be over 300 feet in the air. So no. 
<laughs> that's what it came down to. We already set up our lines, we just need to buy our locomotives. Uh, did an update though, we did unlock a new locomotive along with two Ford vehicles. So we have the Alco HH. It's just something smaller that brings things back and forth and doesn't cost as much money during that time. So I'm actually gonna use it right now. It works out perfect for stone. So we're gonna throw on, I don't know, four things of stone for right now, five things of stone. Um, I'm using the wrong stone carts. No wonder why it was like that. I'm gonna throw in four for right now. It's nothing big. But we're gonna buy you. We're gonna throw you to the Charlotte Stone Line. Then we're gonna go ahead and actually create a new vehicle using one of our heftier vehicles. Good thing this vehicle has some decent track effort because we need it. And we're actually gonna throw in some state carts. And I have to stop picking the wrong ones. And I'm throwing a whole lot of state carts on there, which is a capacity of 120. I don't even know what our city accepts. So I should probably check that out first, right? So we don't end up screwing ourselves over. 79. So, and it comes over here. So what parts does it connect up to? Aha. Uh -huh. So therefore, if I'm gonna have people pick things up, I need to make sure that there's actually a cargo pickup area for it. I'm gonna make sure we give it some more space as well. So we have our cargo pickup, and then we need to make sure we bring it over. We need to make sure we drop it off, I would say right over here and right over here as well. Something like that, we'll just place it on this main road. Yeah, whatever. And then we'll make sure we buy a vehicle for that soon. So it doesn't accept that much, which kind of sucks. But we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna go ahead and buy this guy with enough state carts to at least supply our demand, which should be around 80. So that's 84. Let's give it another to 96 because it will end up increasing very fast. Whatever, buy that for now. We upgrade it later when we need to. Charlotte Construction, I can't wait to lose basically all our money from this thing. <laughs> And then we want to make sure we actually connect up our line over here, so I'm just going to do that real quick. And Charlotte Delivery, guess what? We're going to be using some of your awesome new Ford vehicles. We're just going to give you two for right now. That should do it. Awesome. Charlotte shall be growing now. That's awesome. I like that. So that's our project out of the way. We need to go make sure that other things are working just fine and that life isn't kind of falling apart beneath us. Don't know how I was going to explain that one. All right. Rochester Cleveland just not having luck never ever having luck with Rochester Cleveland I think I upgraded the train plenty of times too what kind of locomotive do we have we have this one right how's our finances doing we, we are making money out of it but it just isn't doing it Ugh, I'm ignoring that one for now I like to ignore things don't I let's see what vehicles we need to replace any vehicles that we need to replace Yes, indeed, we have a lot of vehicles we need to replace, including our wonderful little ship line that brings us from Charlotte over to uh, Rochester. So let's go ahead and actually replace that. That's actually kind of fun. Do we have any new vehicles for you? We have the Klondike, which does move people and it actually does move uh, cargo as well. Huh, that's interesting. I'm just gonna replace it with the same type of boat for now. That's fine, just make sure it's brand new type thing. Fine by me. I want to be able to like get a speedboat or something like that. That's one thing I don't think I've looked on the Steam Workshop for is like a good speedboat. I, I ended up adding some new mods by the way, so. I have to replace all these lines with the vehicles and stuff like that. I'm gonna do that real quick and we're actually gonna replace that train down there just here in a second, that Huntsville, Wichita line. All right, cool, I just did all of that. I updated all the vehicles. Time to go over to Huntsville and Wichita. Now, if you recall from a few episodes ago, we added two trains here. And now we only carry about half the capacity. And the main reason why that happened is because everyone that went to Wichita, or everyone that wanted to go to Huntsville from Anchorage, they all went up to Wichita just to go back down again. That was kind of inefficient to a certain extent. It did make us a lot of money from Wichita to Huntsville, but we had to add in two trains, which we no longer need. So we need to make sure we actually fix that up. You can see the trains right here, they pass by each other and they're very old. So how many people does it actually transport is the question. So it transports about a year around 300 people, if I'm reading that correctly. I don't know how long it takes for a train to get to one place to another, but I'm assuming if we have a train that is just a little over 100, that we may be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna assume if we make a train that's a little bit over 100, we'll be fine. 
Now, the question is, what kind of terrain do we replace it with? So I'm just gonna replace one for now. So I could replace it with an Atlantic, but Atlantic is getting kind of old. Ah, I don't know what I want to do yet. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till the next year and then we're gonna replace it. So I'm just gonna let time fly by a little bit. All right, we're about to come into 1932 just to see if we get a new locomotive. I was really hoping. So let's see if it's gonna happen. Nothing happened, big waste of time. All right, let's go ahead and replace this train. But first, what if we actually just kind of fix things up a little bit for the train track line? What if we go ahead and kind of build something from here? So like, we'll hit this curve right here, we'll kind of connect it up through here. Kind of want it to curve and kind of go around a little bit more to see if it were to not slow down as much. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna waste a bunch of money right now. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and say, you know what, you're sold. Sold to the highest bidder. All right, now we are gonna move on and we're actually gonna take away our signals and we're gonna take away the two tracks that we have, the two switch tracks. <laughs> the, the signal's right in the way. I just wanna remove the signal, please. And then I think we want it to come to the outer part right here. Yeah, we'll do that. Take that out. It's giving me issues because we still have the one-way configuration. I'm gonna take you out. Well, we'll fix that after. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and replace it. But first, let's go ahead and we're gonna upgrade this to the, the electrical unit. That is a big little guy there. How many people do we have waiting here? We must have over like 400 people waiting or something like that. Yeah, we have over like 500 people waiting so it gives me an even bigger like icon. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. All right, we just, Okay, we'll fix that. <laughs> well, because that's really annoying to be quite honest. That should be fine right there. We just need to connect this all up. This should just be one moment. All right, I think we should be good to replace this train now. Let's go ahead and manage your vehicle. We're gonna replace you with that. Would you say that's good? I think that's good. Minus $22 million. Let's go. Oh, I love this train so much. I know it's a very expensive locomotive, but it's like the most satisfying one out of all of them because it's like one of your earliest fast vehicles that can just pull whatever it needs to. Oh, it's great. It is great. So if you recall from a few episodes ago, we did end up doing the Wichita food line. I think it was two episodes ago or the second episode ago, whatever you want to call it. We need to add more vehicles to transport food because we need more vehicles to transport food. <laughs> so. Uh, let's see what we can add. So the Benz trucks are now out of date. The Ford model is the one that's gonna take it over. So we're gonna go ahead and let's add, I'm gonna add five of you and just have you start transporting some food. There we go. You know, I want—I really do wanna come back to Wichita. Wichita is a pretty busy city. Now what if, you know, we're transporting that food, right? That's great. But what if we try to organize our roads a little bit? I wanna see if the new roads have different like speeds on them. I can upgrade them to small country roads. But what if we just paused it, right? Oh, look at those Ford vehicles. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so what if we just try to upgrade our efficiency a little bit? I don't know what I wanted to do. Let's upgrade it a little bit. And let's make sure we have that player owned because I wanna make sure that we can actually not have buildings get constructed on there. I don't want that to happen. Cool, player owned, awesome. Exactly what I needed. I'm just gonna do it all the way across for all of our new areas. Oh yeah, that looks great. There we go. Nice clean roads, except for this intersection, but otherwise nice clean roads. All right, you know what time it is? It's time to fix up Wichita. That is right. Wichita needs some renovations on their road systems. Everything in Wichita, it's very nice and like very well constructed, very grid-like. It's not like roads are kind of going all over the place which is great because sometimes the AI just kind of builds roads in weird ways. This is very grid like, uh, so that is good. We can actually go ahead and try to get in some bus lines that make some sense because all the ones that we have right now don't make much sense. Let's take out that. We're just gonna take out all the bus lines. Okay, so we finished the bus lines here and I'm really excited about this because I don't usually do good with bus lines, but I think we got down the system for this. So, one thing that I did differently though, is now these 
buses have colors to them. So we can visualize a little bit more which bus lines go to what. And now we know like, oh, if it's green, it's for the green line, right? So that was something clever that I did, which I don't usually do too much because we have our green one right here, our orange one right here, and our pink one down over here. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of an overview. Look at all these crazy lines, right? Ignore this green one and ignore the trains, right? The green one over here is for our food system. But otherwise, we have our pink one right here that comes to our residential. So all, most of our residential is down here. We have the green one that comes from over here, which is gonna be the longest journey, over here to our food shops. And then the orange one over here brings us to work. Now it's kind of hard to tell which vehicles are gonna be used more often. Each line has three vehicles, except for one of them, I think only has two vehicles. We just have to wait and see which ones need more help than others. Already looks like pink line is gonna get very busy because there's already 30 people waiting over here. So that's that. Yeah, so I've already sat down here for a second. Pink line already needs like two more vehicles. So we're gonna go ahead and buy two more vehicles for pink line. There we go. Make sure we color coordinate it to pink as well, which was this color that we used. So just to keep it consistent. There we go. Oh my God, we're gonna have a lot of issues over here, but that's great. We can use more vehicles. We hit more stops. We make more money. That's what this game is about. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up as it would help support out the channel. I would highly appreciate it. And any comments, suggestions, anything like that, leave them down below. I want to incorporate some of your ideas. So the sooner you do that, the sooner the videos come out for that. And I shall see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.